What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. In this video we're going to be talking about a new and improved method for farming AP. Now you saw my previous video where I offered 42,000 AP per hour. Well this new method is kind of double that. Talking in at 80 plus thousand an hour which means this is also going to be the absolute best method for farming gill as well all you need to do for gill is basically master a bunch of time materia now what do you need for this method simple you need one single character who has the hp and mp swap materia you want a mastered first strike materia, a mastered magnifier materia combined with a fire and ice materia, a mastered ice materia, and a high level swift cast materia to massively speed it up. Now, the swift cast materia is not required, it is optional, but it does massively increase the speed of this method. Likewise, a higher level magic up materia also comes in extremely, extremely handy as well. Now, one of the reasons you need all this gill, okay, is for a little trick, which you're going to be seeing a video on in the next day or two. And trust me when I say you're going to want a lot of gill for this trick, okay? It's a really, really cool one. So, how do we do this? Oh, yeah, you also need Choco King's Cape. That's from the Gold Saucer from winning the Gold Cup at the, uh, the Gold Saucer. It's a side quest, and I believe it's available in Chapter 12. Also, one thing to note, the numbers you are about to see are post-game numbers. EXP and AP do gain a big boost when you are in post-game. This method is still absolutely the best pre-post-game. Your numbers will just be a little bit lower. So, let's talk about it shall we now this is still going to take place in gongaga down at the south area at the cliffside storehouse w let me just reload all the enemies here now what we're going to be doing okay is it is a little bit similar to the previous run but it's also a little bit different so remember how we killed the two groups of enemies all the way up there we're going to be completely ignoring them this time and instead we're going to fight these grand Garlands first. Also, it doesn't matter the order you actually fight these in. You can do them in any order you want. It's entirely up to you. But as you can see, there's 18 AP right there. We're going to go into the actual premise and we're going to go over to the right. There's going to be a group of four frogs here, which we're also going to murder with Blizzard. And then we're immediately going to run up. And then to the left as well, where we're going to fight the first group from the previous video. And then once these ones are dead, okay, we're actually going to fight another group in here. Because just over there, you might actually be able to see them, there's a couple of Grand Horns. So we're just going to immediately run straight over here as well. And there they are. So we're going to murder these ones with a Fire a Spell. And now all we need to do, okay, is we're just going to save and load the actual game here. This is going to respawn all the mobs and is slightly faster than actually fast traveling to another region and then fast traveling back. Basically cutting our time in half. Now as you can see the Grand Horns aren't respawned, don't worry, just run down a little bit and then when you turn around they will have respawned. And now we're going to do the exact same farm only in reverse. So we're going to kill the Grand Horns then we're going to run up, kill the first fight from the previous video. Again, using a Blizzard spell. I got kind of unlucky there. It's fine. All right, so we're going to kill them. Then we're just going to make our way back over to the frogs, murder them, and then we're going to go back out to the Grand Golems, kill them, and then we're going to save and load once again. Now, this saves on quite a lot of time compared to the previous method because one, we're not actually fast traveling, okay? We're not fast traveling to a different region and then fast traveling back. So we're saving time on all of that. We also don't have to waste time actually moving the cursor over the map, which does save a little bit of time. And of course, we're also not running all the way over to the other two groups. We're only doing this in a very, very small circle. And as you, I mean, look, this has been, what, a minute of me explaining? And we've already done two laps of this, earning a massive, massive amount of AP. Also, you will earn a good chunk of gill doing this method as well. 
but yeah the absolute best ap method is gonna be this one now i am still on the lookout okay for an even better spot for this just because gil is going to be so important trust me on that i have something really interesting for you guys coming with that but yeah, I am still looking on a spot where there are more mobs in a close proximity that either offer, you know, higher AP or where there are more mobs in general in a very close group. Unfortunately, I've not been able to find anything even remotely close to that, sadly. But for now, this is still freaking insane. We're talking over 80,000 plus ap per hour across all seven characters just make sure you do this in chapter 12 okay if you do this later than chapter 12 you will not have kate sif in the party which means you know you are going to be losing a chunk of exp uh, sorry a chunk of ap there because you'll lose access to all of kate sif's materia slots and you could technically do this earlier such as you know chapter 9 chapter 10 however if you do that, and of course, obviously, I'm in Chapter 13, so I don't have Kate Sif right now. But if you do it earlier, you are going to be missing out on having some other unique material as well. So, again, keep that in mind. But though, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I really hope it has helped. Now, go out there and form all of your lovely, lovely gill. As always, though, everybody, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.